Good morning, hello everyone watching the recording of this video. My name is Jordan and we're going to cover everything we've been following throughout the week based on manual trading, based on the strategies, how the setups developed, what worked, what didn't work. Um, basically analysis and summary of our trading. If you have any questions, guys, please post them in the Telegram groups if you're part of the community. If not, uh, I will be glad to answer your questions below this video in the comment section. So starting with Euro dollar. Quick update, not update, recap. That's the daily cycle. This is the two waves we are following towards that zone for, I don't know, how many days already. And as you can see, this one is working pretty, pretty good by the book. We got the first wave up, bigger correction here after the smaller triple, second wave down, false break, divergence, trend line breakout, first attempt, which failed, created false break. Then we got the close above this trend line and the continuation that we were expecting ever since that moment. As you can see, price is pushing higher. I hope you enjoyed these moves. We had the opportunity to sell here for the pullbacks. Now we are back to bullish after the confirmations and, of course, the targets which we already mentioned inside this marked zone. Everything looks pretty, pretty good at that stage. No divergence yet on the histogram or the MAs compared to these two highs. So keeping our bullish positions. And of course, once we reach this zone here, we'll start looking for potential pullbacks and possible continuations up. That, of course, we don't need it and we can update it for the bullish now. Would be, as you can see, again, perfect magnet zone that fits together with the horizontal resistance, fits together with the 38 Fibonacci retracement and the Fibonacci expansion as well. So this zone, definitely a cash out zone and then possible corrections and probably even continuation towards the 50 zone, which is matching here the 100% extension as well. Euro dollar overall, amazing, amazing um, setup. And so far working great. Moving on to Euro pound. Again, the bigger picture was and still is after this cycle, trend line breakouts, and we said that we are looking for the sales after pullbacks. We also said that we're probably forming some kind of range, flat one, which means selling above the middle of this range is still a good opportunity. And if we push higher towards these levels, creating some sort of double wave, we're again going to continue looking for the sales. What do we have in terms of indicators besides the price action? Of course, no divergence on them, which suggests further continuation lower. We have divergence on the histogram. That means we need pullbacks, which is currently happening, as we said, and then continuation lower, which means for Euro pound, we are looking for the sales once they appear and Speaking about sales here, I would like to go ahead and quickly cover two trades. The first one would be triple B. Okay. Euro pound, there we go. Starting on the tent. This is what we got. Okay. That's the very beginning of this thing once it started developing. <clears throat> Protection is higher based on the 20 MA from the higher time frame. This is where the first double wave appeared and that's where the attack happened. As you can see, more or less perfect opportunity. Even if it was pushing slightly higher, we had the room not to get kicked out. And this is one of the strands, the biggest strands 
a strip of it because once you have the 20 MA protection, even if you start attacking based on your setup, which is again double wave corrective cycle, spikes, as we're going to show in Delta, for example, you don't care about them. Okay, in those situations, because you have the room for the price to play a bit and then continue in your original direction. So your pound closed here this perfect trade. Um, we had one more about euro pound, I believe, or not. Yeah, Delta, Delta, Delta. Where is Delta? Let me see. Scorpio, this is Delta. Delta, that was um, one of the opportunities. This also worked, okay? And that's again, top of that range, which provided at least target one. Okay, that was the second opportunity here. Again, above uh, the middle of the range, we have bearish divergence. We have bearish direction from the candle, uh, not the candle pattern, from the delta pattern on the four hour chart. And this one collected target one right here and target two was closed in break even. Okay. Do we have another one here? Not really. All right. <clears throat> I believe that's pretty much all about the strategies. So for manual trading guys, this is where we stand at the moment. This is a fantastic level possibility again for flat range or some kind of triangle here to form. If we break above these two spikes, that's the next zone to watch and basically continuation to the downside. Cable working out also amazing this week. I'm not sure about you guys, but we have one of the best weeks uh, since some time. Really, really based on the strategies, based on manual trading, everything is paying very nice. And that usually happens because when you have cycles, let's say the cycle is developing, you have ugliness while the price decides whether to continue or not. And once the new direction is set, you continue. So basically, once you're inside no man's land, this is where most of the losses occur, or at least not heavy trading. Once the new direction is set and we are inside trending legs, we make very good profits. And in my opinion, previous two weeks, 10 days or so, most of the pairs were stuck inside this, um, how do we call that? Not formation, but that zone, right? The buffer zone. And now as the new direction is set, okay, we start the new moves and once you have moves obviously you make money so that's about cable we were looking for shorts once the breakouts here happened we said that we're switching our positions to buys as long as the breakout zone is holding and this breakout zone comes from the daily chart and also comes from this um horizontal levels which were broken so at that stage we said okay we are looking for continuations up on here we're having the continuation price managed this candle pattern for me was the biggest factor because where did that go here first of all this is the double wave right we managed to close above holding above spike to the resistance and then immediate push down at that stage again you don't know whether we're going to continue lower and break and create a false break or we're going to continue higher once you get this candle pattern and the price again managed to hold here for a few candles you're pretty sure that this zone is now again respected and the bullishness continue the trend line from the bottoms is also there supporting you right here. So looking for these buys is what we're doing, of course. Um, in terms of indicators, you can see clearly that the momentum is there. We are now building bearish divergence, which means pullbacks and possible continuation higher. 
Now the question is whether we are first of all going to reach the extension of 100, which is slightly higher, or we're going to do a small pullback here, respecting this zone, the highest, respecting the trend line and then continuation. If we do get the pullback before we reach here, I believe this could be again a very short term intraday opportunity for us to go ahead and attack potential buys. Okay, um, in terms of cable, let me see if we have anything. Libra code. Where is this? Right here. So, Libra code cable. There you go. That was the setup. Move up, pull back. In terms of double waves, the second wave was also two waves correction. Okay interday cycle on its own, even though this is the 15 minute chart. This is where the false break appeared. This is where the break above this high and that high cleared. Okay. Strong push up. We're waiting for the pullbacks. We know that we have the trend lines. We know that we have the higher time frame direction. What we're looking for is obviously continuation up. And as you can see, the continuation up was delivered. Uh, for Libra code, by the way, this week, I would like to mention something very interesting, guys, which again proves the point of quality over quantity. We have four trades starting from the 10th, right, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, that's the Monday. Okay, so four trades and you clear almost 8% profits, four trades. Okay, if you have the patience to wait for the direction, to wait for good classical setups, you make a lot of money. Of course, again, it requires patience, it requires waiting, it requires hunting, but it's really worth it if you're willing to put the effort to do that because, boom, there you go. Only four trades and you make 8%. Okay, some people are looking for 5% a month and you can clear that in a week with some of the best setups if you have the patience and you don't allow yourself the drawdowns and um, mistakes that cost you money. So that's about um, cable. Then we move on to Dorian, which where we had the idea of going towards this trend line going towards those levels right here and from this point we wanted to sell okay together with this hidden divergence together with the levels for this push lower of course we did have the bigger double wave that was created here of course we had inside the second leg of this four hour chart wave um this divergence which appeared near the end of it and divergence, guys, on both, actually on the three of them, together with levels, usually means bounces. And that's, again, another important lesson for us, where if your timing is good, if you have leveling place, which is always condition number one for us, and the confirmations coming from the divergences that we need at least pullbacks. Even if the price moves after all in the opposite direction and clears your invalidation levels, you can still make money. Okay, because attacking the right time means even if you're going to trade the pullback, you're still going to make money. Now this setup, in my opinion, even after this move down, was still looking very bearish. Why? Because in the lower time frames, we created something that reminds a triple cycle. I'm going to switch to 15 minutes in a second. And this is pretty classical because we have divergences followed by convergences. Okay, which means we created lower lows. And that means pullbacks for continuation lower. Now, if I drop to the 15 minute chart, you see exactly that. This is your triple formation, and then you start looking for the pullbacks. However, however, look what was created 
later on. Again, triple cycle up. So that's one trend line to be traded. And this right here is the second one, right? Well, that one could be also like this. Either way, if you attacked it at that stage, that would be a loss. But having a triple or a special cycle means possible continuations up, even though this is the 15 minute chart and this is exactly what happened. So basically the market did suggest here the warning signs and it's up to us to whether accept the risk or not. In my opinion, that was absolutely worth the risk because we were back to this good zone, back to these levels, tested, beautiful bearish candle pattern and divergence was also there. So Euro Yen did pay on this part and if we traded this part that would fail. And we are now above that trend line and as we know we don't really have a clear cycle on the higher time frames. What I would be following in terms of cycles is this four hour chart uh, cycle that is currently developing. However, again, as we broke here and we started pushing up and creating this momentum, I do expect pullbacks and further continuations up, but this is something that we're going to discuss next week during the live rooms and we'll see how today ends. Uh, let me see, do we have anything in terms of strategies? Scorpio code, one such opportunity for a sell. And this is exactly the sell we are referring to, okay? Again, we can go ahead and, no, that's not the count, sorry. One, two, three, four, here we go. One, two, three, four, coming closer as possible to the top. Of course, that was slightly riskier trade. Why? Because we still had the room up to go ahead and clear that zone before continuation. But still tradable in my opinion. Um, first attempt, at least, even if you lose, then you can go ahead and re-attack it. Okay, so again, that depends on whether you want to be absolutely perfect and picky or whether you want to uh, give it a shot with the first attempt and then looking for the next. However, this one worked. Uh, so strategies or manual trading, step trading here was also available. Either or, I really hope that you enjoyed at least the first sell. And I hope you missed the second one. So <laughs> you're left with the profits alone. Um, that's that's pretty much about dollar yen, guys. Then the next one, Euro Yen. We had the same idea. This is the daily pattern that we're following. After the first push down, which we enjoyed, we said that we're looking for the next pullbacks that we want to go ahead and look for the sales. And yesterday and the previous day, we said that we are forming some sort of ascending triangle here, which means after this bullish move, we're expecting continuation up. We did get the continuation up. So if you uh, enjoy this buy, very well done. However, in terms of sales, I'm not sure we should be looking for sales anymore. The question is why? Simple. This is the swing and this is the next possible swing. We're breaking above this level, first of all, the high. We broke above the 100% extension of this level. And after the breakout, we're managing to hold above it. We also broke the trend line of the daily chart, which we were following. All that together with the uh, one hour chart indications of possible continuation up is suggesting that we are very likely going to continue higher. And if we were about to do that, then we need to start looking at the bigger picture. And for me, the bigger picture is this. Okay, for our chart, considering this is wave one, number one, double wave correction, breakout, and now we're inside this level. And this is a critical zone, critical level, of course, which has the potential to create divergence. Um, 
But again, as I said, I believe we are at least going to push towards these levels, which are the next zones. So very short term buy opportunities, in my opinion, could be making a lot of sense here, of course, as long as we're keeping above these levels right here. OK, that's the critical zone that it must hold. OK, otherwise this is going to be considered a false break. And then let me just use the line because I'm not good with lines with the pen. Uh, this is going to be the next trend line, which basically will be my invalidation. Um, so if we do something like this, I believe we're back to bearish and I would consider this as a false break. If the price does something like that and forms here um, hidden divergences, etc., bearish, sorry, not bearish, bullish patterns to be formed, bullish continuation patterns, I will be considering the buys towards this zone right here. So Euro Yen um, basically becomes interesting and this is where we can be looking for these opportunities next week. So definitely on the hot watch list, this is the one hour chart. Euro franc, where do we stand with Euro franc guys? Daily pattern, respecting this trend line, two divergences in a row, false breaks, bounce from this magnet zone. And we said that there is a very good possibility for continuation up at least in the very short term. We are now respecting this 61.8. Okay, we have two cycles here that we keep on following. And the 61.8 that I'm referring to is coming from the bigger cycle, the first wave. Uh, so this is a natural resistance for us. However, everything here looks bullish. So again, we have the divergences. We also got the convergence, okay? We got the convergence here on the one hour chart as well. And that's two time frames confirming the same idea. Then one hour chart or 15 minute chart because of the corrections, okay? You have a special cycle. And this is where we said we we're looking for double waves. And once we clear that zone and create divergence, we can look for continuation up. And this is exactly what we got. We got the push up. Um, we got the trend line breakouts. Everything is in place. However, this is now again back to the range. Okay. And we couldn't, in fact, break above the 113. What was that? 113.50 level. So the best thing that could happen for these buys is break above that zone. Once we clear that zone with momentum closing above, holding above it, we should be seeing further continuation up. And that further continuation up would be based on this first wave. So assuming that currently this is the lowest low, this is our ABCD, right? And the D point should be here or here. So all these buys, as you can see, we have plenty of room to the upside, 100% extension magically fits if we uh, do something like that, okay? With the given angle and the pace, the way it's um, developing at the moment, look where it goes, exactly to this trend line. And then we're probably, if this is a double wave, going to look for continuations, trend lines, divergences, of course, or breakout pullbacks and continuation up. So the idea again, I think you're, you're starting to get the point, especially the guys who are in the club for some time. We trade from level, level to level based on cycles and confirming with divergences. It's really simple guys. Once you get the idea, the bigger picture, it really becomes very simple. Then you just include all the things we are teaching that are really not that, um, complex as long as you follow the rules that are confirming your counts and cycles etc you will be very very good okay the statistics are going to be on your side so euro franc so far looks good 
let's just hope that we're not going to clear that zone below because if we do then we have the next level which is the 100 and this is the next thing that we are going to follow right move flat another move and then possible continuation higher either way i believe we are uh, set for bullish continuation at least at that stage at least as long as that low is being respected we have the convergences we have the special cycles everything right here is in place uh, that's about euro franc dollar cut is the next one which we were following and the bullish plan <clears throat> excuse me guys the bullish plan here doesn't happen it was simply invalidated my idea was very simple break out of the four hour chart or the daily range that you see here we got the bullish momentum and we said we we're looking for pullbacks towards the breakout zone which is this level or the trend line so you have horizontal breakout and trend line breakout uh, together with of course this wave down so wave correction and then you start following your cycles and the levels of the cycle so once we reach the first one 100 percent we said that we broke below which is the first warning sign for further continuation lower and we did hold below it and we said that there is a good chance we're going to see spikes to the downside those spikes did not turn out to be spikes it turned out to be a new wave to the downside and this new wave provided exactly the same as the previous one strong push down breaking below the next level which is 161.8 now we are trading below this channel once again and look what starts to happen here this hidden divergence is now starting to turn into continuing divergence okay one hour chart created the momentum lower and the reason why we were looking for this push down was exactly here so now focus on the chart up to this point ignore this one you have this you have double wave perfect levels and you're looking for buys however do you have any confirmations from the price that the price is ready to reverse no you don't you have momentum price action is supporting that momentum the 100 percent level is supporting that momentum so no need to go ahead and attack it by all means you're expecting at least one more push lower and once we got it boom again we do have momentum instead of divergence the divergence appeared only here guys so now it becomes tricky as we're trading below this divergence is not the best one in my opinion because it appears inside the range and basically i can see both at that stage happening we can push lower towards the four hour chart channel the bottom of it or we can also push higher next week stay tuned we're going to cover um, the updates here and decide what to do with this pair but this is how you save money that's the most important lesson right here no confirmations no attacks if you go ahead and attack it it's absolutely aggressive because you're attacking a level only and you have more science telling you down instead of up and when you go against the list the list that we've been talking for so long and majority of them are saying down 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 and you have up up or mixed well it makes sense to lose money right so respect your money guys it's your business treat it carefully Aussie Frank after we pushed a lower below this breakout we said that uh, in the short term at least we are going to see this continuation to the downside levels were reached and we said we are now looking for pushes up short-term corrections at least why because you can see that there is still no divergence 
that means pullbacks and one more push at least is very very likely to happen here and on weekly chart yes we did have the previous bearish cycle to the downside but after we broke below that weekly trend line the road was opened for this bearish continuation and don't forget we still have these spikes below us and currently even the weekly chart is suggesting further continuation lower so trading the buys is aggressive in that stage okay um, probably use less risk or just use very clean setups before you go ahead and attack it so what did we have we had the level down on the 15 minute chart right here on the 15 minute chart we got triple structure which is suggesting further continuation up pullbacks with something that reminded a double bottom okay the divergence was there not the best in my opinion okay because i love to see the breakouts below before i attack trend lines so in my opinion the next stage of how this thing developed was even better we got the breakout okay now that is confirmed to be indeed a double bottom we got the breakout and we got these two pushes to the downside momentum was there double wave and this is much much clearer setup in my opinion because the trend line breakout aggressively protecting it okay with this low gives you immediately fantastic risk reward and this is the 15 minute chart after all so you can see what happened even towards the very very uh swing low of the first wave we had good risk reward at least one to one should be clear but when you see such beautiful bullish candle patterns you can expect that the price is going to continue higher there was no divergence even on the histogram so clearly we can expect one more wave to appear and this is where the wave happened so if you go ahead and calculate it here you'll see that once the divergence was completed okay and that divergence was completed where on this candle 30 30 pips versus 14 pips okay boom this is your your one to two risk reward ratio cleared uh so was frank fantastic opportunity clear very very clear setup in my opinion uh, which paid and of course you go ahead and look at your checklist daily levels suggesting up four hour chart beautiful cycle divergence completed you're expecting at least short term pullbacks now to be delivered based on this cycle and where to of course the 38 to 50 zone so four hour chart up one hour chart or 15 minute chart special cycle or triple cycle the one that we saw here pullbacks continuations double waves everything is saying up so when it fits it fits and you make money that's the bottom line uh let me see if we had anything besides the manual trading srs where is srs aussie frank okay i believe actually this is the same trend line now that we yeah that's that's the same trend line guys boom there we go that we were discussing okay so that was the buy here and we have what do we have aussie frank from triple b okay and you can see how this time the two strategies delivered more or less exactly the same idea this is the same double wave however triple b has slightly uh better conditions well maybe i'm wrong um let's say just a few pips better but it gives you the same idea perfect double wave fantastic risk reward ratio because this is the hard time frame 20 ma and you're looking for the continuations okay and now it comes uh the place where different strategies of course have different money managements etc so you can go ahead and um, adjust accordingly 
By the way, guys, big change for us in terms of um, SRS, for those of you following the trades, we switched to a risk reward of a one to one. OK. This is the new uh, money management that we're going to apply to SRS. So if you're following these trades and you wonder why is that, um, well, just keep in mind we switched it. The simple fact is majority of the people have difficulties to um, follow up on the longer term targets. OK, and the idea here is to just go ahead and cover well, basically what majority of the people are trading so we can relate to the same things and deal with the same setups and basically go hand in hand with everyone and try to do our best, right? So that's why we decided to make this switch and we're going to trade um, one to one risk reward ratio from now on. I see a question here. Door cut dodgy on daily. You see. Of course, my platform is a mess. Yep, it is. It is. But again, in that stage, we do have too many reasons to believe it's going to continue lower. Uh, not sure what you mean by we have a dodgy. What does that dodgy tell you, Clive? What's your idea here? A reversal or continuation? How do you use it? Dodgy is not my strongest suit when it comes to candle patterns, Japanese candlesticks. OK, I'm giving you time to reply and I'm moving forward as we already advanced in time a lot. Uh, let's see what else. Cut Frank was also an interesting idea, which delivered this triple cycle up we said that we are probably going to see the continuation higher and we need the pullbacks before we start looking for the buys we got these short-term corrections at the moment however keep in mind that starts to remind now a possible triple or special cycle and that means further continuation down is likely to happen of course we need to see how it's going to develop on the next stage and then possibly the continuation. Uh, that's about door, Frank. We do said that after the bounces here, we had this double bottom divergence, pullbacks, one more push, and then this is going to be the idea for the further continuation down because in the higher time frames, daily charts specifically, we're moving inside this pattern and after the bounce, we expect to see the next one. Coming together with this triple cycle looks perfect. Pullbacks and continuations. We have amazing zone here. I'm going to mark it now for all of us. Boom, which we are going to follow next week. You remember this situation right here, uh, what we were discussing about stopping continuation etc so we're going to apply absolutely the same ideas once again when we reach that level good point here is that hidden divergence is already forming one hour chart has potential bullish divergence mis are still holding as well so we could be getting something like that and then very likely push to the upside cut frank love it um definitely on our list for the next week pound yen we were also looking for these cells okay and again we said that we want to see this formation let me just clear those lines we want to see this formation giving us one more push higher coming to this zone Okay, and as long as the divergence is holding, as long as the level is holding, we can start looking for sales. And now this plan is invalidated. Why? Because first of all, the divergence is broken. Okay. Second of all, the level is broken. That's, of course, the daily chart trend line being broken right here. And we're simply holding above it. This is also a magnet zone. I just need to move that a bit. Okay, you see it 38 and 
coming exactly to the same place. So having such breakout with momentum, guys, means, well, basically I'm switching for the next buy opportunity. No need to go ahead and fight. And this is why attacking levels is risky. Okay? No confirmations. Leave it. No problem with that. As long as we don't lose money, it's perfectly fine. So pound yen, at least my sell idea failed. The buy idea did provide the move. So if you traded the buys to the upside with this triangle, very well done. We had amazing setup here. In my opinion, why? Because when trading uh, shrinking structures, that probably sounds stupid, but this is how I call them because the price is basically shrinking, right? Whether this is going to be a wedge or pennant or triangles, I don't care. Momentum is shrinking, and once you get the breakout, you can look for the trade in that direction. And the best way to do that, not the best way, the most conservative way, in my opinion, is when you trade with the breakout of the most recent previous high or low. So let's say you're looking for sales. This is the trend line breakout. This is the swing low, the previous one, right? You're looking for buys. This is your swing. And in that case, I'm saying it's good because the distance between the trend line and the high is very small. So you can be conservative without giving away any pips. That's the idea. And then the protection, depending on your uh, Money management and risk management could be either of those lows, okay, any of those lows. And as you can see, the push up was simply amazing. So, pound yen, bullish momentum, and possible bullish continuation even for the next week. Next one, Kiwi Frank, where we said same story as Ozzy Frank. So, not to repeat it, we're looking for further continuations up. We are stuck in something that reminds a range. So we had the first wave up, divergence followed by convergence, and now flat. In my opinion, any visit of this bottom, or if you want to be more conservative, wait for the breakout, is an opportunity to buy. Why? Because you can easily protect the last low, which is the invalidation for these buys. And the risk reward, assuming that we are going to get at least a double wave, probably even a bigger structure going up to the daily trend lines, could be simply fantastic. Keep in mind, we are going against the daily chart. Okay, We only have divergences on the histogram, which means pullbacks continuation lower because the divergence on the MAs is still missing. Euro pound proved that this is not always the case. And I'll go back to Euro pound for a second. In that case, we didn't even have um, divergence on the histogram or RSI, nowhere. Yet the move happened. Okay? So don't just blindly believe um, the indicators when they're showing, but I am pretty sure that we have eight maybe even nine out of 10 when this thing works. So I always pay attention to these things. Of course, where is our thing, Kiwi Frank? Of course, keep in mind about your cycles. Okay, and this one could easily be counted as a triple cycle, which is already there, which divergence was provided. So pushes up here, at least in the short term, is very, very, very likely to happen. So don't blindly, blindly rely on indicators. Always um, take in, assume what, what the price action is suggesting as well. So let me see anything from the strategies. Not here. Okay. Aussie door. Well, you know my opinion. I'm looking for this sell store, the all 61 zone. Based on this cycle, of course, this is monthly chart. It will take a lot of time. Now, the question is, what do we do in the short term? First attempt to break, second attempt to break, and we got the break below. False convergence was provided right here. 
that false convergence means once you get uh, the setups, we can expect a very quick first wave up to be provided, and that first wave up was provided. For our chart, we did get the divergences, and this is the key level, in my opinion. This tiny move here, which we can actually see on the one hour chart much better. Okay, that was false break number one, false break number two. Perfect clearance zone. And then, voila, break about the most recent highs, creating the momentum. And we said that we are looking for further continuations to the upside. And currently, these buys are providing some great um, momentum. Also keep in mind that, well, this one is tricky because we have these two um, candles here and we have one more candle right here. Okay, so if you go ahead and read it from that stage, that would be convergence. If you go ahead and read it from this one, that would be hidden divergence. Okay, but uh, in my opinion, we should be relying on the actual price action. And the fact is, we got this, so continuations up should be a very good idea. Dollar franc, this one is breaking lower. We said here that we are looking for possible continuation lower. One scenario was the top of the range for continuation lower. The second scenario was bigger double wave breaking above here and then possible continuation lower as you can see the price is now even breaking below the previous low the momentum is strong any pullback is an opportunity for us to go ahead and look for sales however let me just remove all that let's see where it all comes from leg number one corrective leg, leg number two, and this is where I expect to see a range, okay? But, and this is where the big but comes from. We have potential divergence on the daily chart already, which means, yes, we have the room to go ahead and create that, but on the other hand, We also reached the 161.8. So we need to see whether the price is going to create this range as we spoke, first of all, okay? Or we're going to go a bit lower, keep below all 96.50, and then possibly push to the downside. If that happens, we're very likely in front of special cycle, okay? Extended legs. So these two options are what I'm going to follow. Having this divergence in place, however, means that in my opinion, we can also go ahead and look for short term bullish um, opportunities. We also have potential false convergence here to be developed, right? So one more push higher and trading here is definitely a possibility. But again, it all depends on whether we're going to hold below this zone or we're going to bounce and go for this level again. If we come to that zone, perfect, because then the sales would be amazing. Just keep in mind the daily divergence. We need to confirm specifically this level for reversals. Okay, before we confirm it, no need to attack because it could be the end of the cycle and it could be pushing higher. Uh, that's about dollar franc, Eurocat, as I told you guys, not my favorite pair for multiple reasons. We broke below, we said possible continuation lower, now we're pushing back up, so not really on my list. Euros, it was a fantastic setup as well, and I'm really proud with one of our trades. Libra, Libra, is that Libra? Yeah. Euros, you look at it. Now, this is, of course, slightly aggressive, okay, but false break convergence, false break convergence for the second time. 
two in a row. We also got two divergences on the four hour chart. Okay. Actually, that would be two divergences plus false convergence. So we have these two divergences and then false convergence here. And we also got a level. And we also got extremes before that, which never really provided any pullbacks. And that was a triple cycle again. So basically, everything came to this point where we were expecting the sales. Having two, not just false breaks, but false breaks with convergences means by all ideas, we should try this out. Okay. And this is also where we said a potential head and shoulders is forming. And that was the right shoulder we were attacking. Even on the 15 minute chart, you can see the hidden divergences in place. Everything spoke about cells. So based on the strategies, we got one cell break below the neckline together with this low spoke about cells. And you can see it clearly, guys. It broke, tested it twice, not just once, twice, and then it simply continued lower. And again, the idea remains bullish. We are looking for bullish continuations very likely towards this zone and maybe even the magnet zone right here. So there is plenty of room for us to wait for this reversal to happen and we can enjoy the buys. Okay, but currently, after all this is in place, why not enjoy the sales, right? So the idea here is we cashed out first position. Perfect. We are now looking for pullbacks and ideally one more push lower to go ahead and test that zone again, create for us a beautiful four hour chart double wave, which we can then later on go ahead and use uh, four triggers of buys. So Eurozy remains short term bearish and longer term bullish. Do we have anything else on Eurozy? Let me see. Uh, Libra code, we had this one. I think that's. Oh. Ah, no, Delta guys. Look at it. This is the setup which I was expecting to provide the push up, and it all came. Uh, from the triple cycle. So basically, we have a four hour chart bullish momentum clearly. Triple cycle down, which means I'm expecting pullbacks and then possible continuation. My idea is to go ahead and trade this leg. And as you can see, that was provided. The count was right. Everything was perfect. We got the push up. However, we also got this beautiful spike down after the signal. And Boom, you make a loss and then the price continues higher. So it is one of the things that do happen to you and it really hurts because if it continues lower, I have no issues with that. Okay, I admit I was wrong. My count for some reason is not working. Price pushes lower, but collecting the stops and then making the move, it's really slap in the face. Hate it. But this is what the big guys do and they're pretty aware of what retail traders are doing. So getting some extra money is always good. Anyway, I just wanted to share my pain with you guys. Um, Euros, this is the plan. Short term, still possible continuation lower. But in general, we are looking for these buys. And then we have silver, which, well, it is ugly, in my opinion. Uh, the weekly level that I'm following is right here. We're basically inside the, the zone that we wanted. Okay. No divergences yet, which means if we get a break below, we could be going below the 13 mark. Um, daily chart, multiple divergences. Actually, no, that's only one divergence. We had one here and one here, histogram. And... The MAs are also starting to slow down. RSI is in place as well. Well, in other words, I'm looking for reversal, which is not yet there. Okay, it's simply missing. 
Uh, we need to see higher highs, we need to see momentum to the upside before we can start considering any buy opportunities. Until then, I'm not really keen of this pair simply because that zone is very, very close and I don't like buying, uh, sorry, selling inside the support because this entire zone is a support for me. At least until we break it, right? OZN was also interesting example where we said this is a possible sell opportunity for us. We never got the breakout. It simply pushed her as all the ends uh, were gaining the momentum to the upside. Now we are in front of level. Now we did create divergence followed by convergence, which means pullbacks are very likely to provide bullish momentum. Okay. So that's on the shorter term frames time frames sorry uh, daily chart divergence no divergence so from here pullbacks and then continuations can we trade those pullbacks of course you just need to have a setup if you find yourself a beautiful setup with good risk reward ratio by all means go ahead and trade it if we break above the trend line immediately without any pullbacks that's the next plan so breakout level Divergences, continuations. Um, that's pretty much the ideas, guys. We had doors are not on my list, sorry, and it's not for live discussion anyway. So if you want, we can discuss it in the Telegram groups or in private. Uh, any questions, guys, about any of the setups that we had? Anything on your side or not really? All right. Well, in that case, I'm wishing you a very wonderful weekend. Enjoy the time with the friends and the family. And I'll see you next week, guys. We bring the conversation back to the Telegram groups. If anything, ping me. Jacob, shoot, of course. Cheers, guys. I'm just waiting for Jacob's question and um, I'm going to, to close the webinar. Yes, so what happens if you haven't got confirmation from the MACD and the double trend line setup? Do you have a specific setup example in, in mind or just general question? If you don't have the two waves correction that you're looking for, if this is what you're asking, you simply don't trade it. So let's say you have bullish wave, double wave corrections are happening or at least you're expecting to happen, and then it continues lower. You don't trade it, okay? When it comes to corrections, we I did create a webinar on corrective structures for Forex Delta community. Please go ahead and watch it. I think it will be very helpful, helpful for you to understand exactly those situations and what we should be doing, okay? All right, guys, again, have a wonderful weekend. Wishing you all the best. Bye for now.